I am addicted to bodybuilding, like, for sure. I can't lie about it. I'm, I'm there every day, non-stop. If I get like three days rest, it feels weird. I ask you if you take steroids. My name is Bahar Nabila. I'm 25 years old. I live in Ukraine. I was bullied in school because of my legs. I was a really skinny kid. I thought that I want to I wanna change the situation. I want to look different. And I thought to go uh, to the gym. I started and I really loved it. Since that day, I still train. <laughs> I love Brazilian type of body and those girls have like, small upper body but big thighs and big glutes. So. I was like, I want to be like that. I think some people find my body unproportioned. And I mean, I understand why. I have no reasons to build up my upper body. So I like the way I look, even though like there is disproportion. I'm gonna do quads today. And I will definitely need this one. So let's go. to change my workouts like one week me and my coach doing like heavy weight and another week is like static dynamics you don't have to create new exercises for building your body you have to use like basic movements as squats deadlifts walking lunges uh, leg press leg curls leg extensions like same exercises as most of the people do actually nothing special There is no day for me without squats, you know? So I work with the weight I feel comfortable with. So like 100 kg is enough for me, like for 15 reps, it's, it's fine. Bahar is a person with a strong character. She is very determined. If she thought about something, she will get it. She is very fast progressing. В месяц она может набрать там 3-4 килограмма сухой мышечной массы. Ну, ну это все результат ее работы. People constantly asking me about steroids, and I'm not afraid to say that one of the few athletes in like bodybuilding industry, fitness industry, who actually admits taking steroids because lying about it is like it's ridiculous i don't recommend it to people it's their choice but personally i do take it i think most of the women scared because like it's stereotype thinking that if you're gonna start lifting weights you're gonna look like a man i do take steroids my voice is deep so some people think that i look like a man plus my voice but if you're a natural athlete there is no chance for you to look like a man if you're natural, like, no way. People will always find the reason to, you know, to negatively react on her. But she, she's a very dedicated and humble person. I learned a lot from her. Like she motivates me to go to the gym every single day and I'm trying to lose weight. I gain like 20 more kilograms, extra, extra kilograms, so she helps me a lot with that. When people come up to me in the street, they don't talk about my glutes, they don't talk about the pose I do, they talk about how I like motivate them. I remember I posted one picture and it went really viral. Like it was all over the feed, 
on every sport page, sport account, and they always commenting like she looks like a man. Um, I'm not mad at them. I don't feel upset or, you know, I don't have depression or stressed out about it because I understand that not everybody gonna like me and it's fine. I know that like tomorrow there's gonna be another girl who's gonna be popular and everyone gonna forget about me. So I don't wanna be just a fitness model. I wanna, I want something bigger than that. So now I'm just working, uh, I don't know, to motivate people, you know, to, to make them feel better about themselves. Some people go to theater, some people listen to music, to music. When I feel too stressed out or like no mood, I'm always in the gym. Kinda stress relief for me. It feels good, I love it. Like it's, it's the part of my life right now.